Hi guys, welcome back to my channel or welcome if this is your first time watching one of my videos. For today's episode on Let's Cook, I'm going to be showing you guys how I make my pozole verde. This is just the way I like to make it. I made it pretty simple so everybody could cook it. It's actually, it is one of my favorite Mexican soup dish. It's so, so good. So it's pretty authentic. This is a Mexican house, so I'm pretty familiar with the ingredients and everything. Oh my God, something in my eye. I just chopped onions in my eyes are crying. Uh, that was um so like i was saying you guys i'm going to be sharing with you guys how i like to cook it um it is tradition for us at a mexican household we always make pozole uh, for the holidays so today is um christmas eve and we're gonna make pozole well, i'm gonna be making the green pozole today um stay tuned and let's cook i'm gonna start by boiling the protein so today i'm going to be using chicken i'm using chicken drumsticks um i just feel like it's easier to use and to eat and it doesn't dry out a, a lot as like chicken breast so i like to use um chicken drumsticks and i have them washed right here my water is boiling i'm gonna drop them in there okay so i'm going to drop the chicken drumsticks in. Okay, so I just dropped in the chicken and I'm going to add one whole garlic um, head right here. This is just going to make it easier to pull these things out when the chicken is ready. And I'm adding half a small onion. I'm just going to want to drop it in there, kind of press the garlic just so it lets go the aroma and the flavor. It's already boiling. I have the onion and the garlic. It's about, I want to say, 80-ish percent done. So what we're going to do, because of the chicken, it uh, throws out a lot of like fat. And, and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to clean the broth and just remove that out of here. So if you guys don't know what it looks like, it is like little pieces of chicken fat, I guess. Um, you'll see it. If you so once your broth is nice and clean, um, we're just going to let it boil a little bit more before I take out the onion and the head of garlic. Okay, guys, so for the sauce, I am going to be using um, cilantro. I was like, what is this? So, so everything's already pre-chopped. I'm going to be showing you guys what I'm going to be using. This is chile poblano, I believe it's called. the one you use for the chile rellenos. I chopped it up, um, took out all the seeds, and then we're going to be using tomatillos. And I am making a big pot because it's Christmas, so um, this is about the amount that I'll be using. It's actually about like three and a half of these and about eight tomates. I'm going to be using cilantro, which I won't use all this, probably half of this. Um, some fresh garlic and I'm going to be using a pasote. So we actually grow fresh pasote here. I'm not sure what this is called in English but it's called a pasote and we have a fresh one here so I always throw some of this in there. I'm going to be blending it in my blender here. So we're just going to add about half of this cilantro and I already kind of pre-chopped it just so it's a little easier. Actually that's a little too much. I'm going to add my garlic, um, my epazote. I'm not going to add onion in here because the onion is already in the in the broth. Um, also, I know a lot of people actually, if you guys seen uh, these recipes before, they always put, they always like fry these vegetables with um, oil before they blend it, which is totally fine. You guys can do that too. I just like to do this because I'm trying to make it an easier recipe and this is just the easiest way. I've always done it this way. I know because it's cold, you might think that it won't have flavor, but it still keeps all the flavor in here. It all cooks with the heat of the broth when it all comes together. So it's still pretty good. I'm going to fill this up with some water for my chicken broth. For seasoning, I'm going to add about a tablespoon of this chicken bouillon um, powder. And I'm going to have to do it in sections because I have too much tomates and too much chile. So I'm going to do that after and then I won't add any more seasoning because I added a little bit too much. So yeah, I'm just going to add the broth, blend it up, and then show you guys. Okay, so now that my sauce is ready, I am going to bring everything together. I'm going to remove the cebolla that I put on here. This is a whole half onion here. A whole half onion. This is a half onion. I'm just going to remove that out of here. And I'm also going to remove the garlic head if I can find it. Okay, so it should look something like this. I'm going to remove it. My chicken is pretty much um, 90 to 95% done. Actually, I feel like it should already be semi done maybe just the middle or so um 
I'm going to add the Harmony on here, which I actually rinsed over here, and I am using this one right here, the Juanita's Mexican Style Harmony, and this is what we always use. This is the actual, like, brand that most likely everybody uses, but really good. This is what I'm going to be using today. I'm probably not going to be adding the whole thing to my pot, only because I don't think it will fit, but I might just transfer it later, so already rinsed and washed and I'm just gonna add probably about half of this I'll show you guys that right now I just added a little bit more than half this is about six pounds of um, harmony in here I think I added like four pounds and I'm just gonna mix this together and bring the fire back up a little higher it was on medium and we're gonna let this boil a little bit I'm going to add the um, sauce that I made and I'm going to let all this come to a boil Okay, so for seasoning, I'm going to add some more of this straight to the pozole pot. I'm going to add some salt and pepper, and I'm going to add also our oregano leaves and bay leaves. Um, these are hojas de laurel and oregano. So I'm going to try, I'm just going to add a little bit at a time and then try it. I always like to try when it boils, that's when it absorbs all the flavors and it just gives you a really nice, like, true flavor you know I'm just gonna add they're pretty small I'm gonna add about two on um, bay leaves and then salt and pepper I'm gonna let this come to a boil um, stir it around and then just taste it if it needs any more seasoning like I said I'm trying to make it as easy as possible there's many different ways that this is done um, a lot of people like to um, cook the sauce after it's already blended with manteca which is pork um, fat and then bring everything together or they like to um, cook the vegetables before this is the easiest way I found um, it tastes so so good and it has so much flavor and it looks so green okay you guys can see it's already boiling I'm just gonna try it and see if it needs any more seasoning it's so green Oh my god, it's so so good. It has so much flavor. I can taste all like the chile poblano and everything. I'm just gonna add a little bit more of the um, the consomme de pollo because um, it's good. It has those natural like vegetable flavors, but it needs a little bit of salt. I was gonna say to um, you can also add chile serrano or chile jalapeno into your mix. Um, I don't because I have kids here, but you can definitely make it a little spicy and add some chiles. This is my favorite. I think I prefer green than red too. Let me know down below in the comments if you guys prefer green pozole or red pozole. Mm, that's perfect. Okay. So now that it's good on seasoning, um, you just want to let this rest in boil for about 30 ish minutes depending how much you're cooking it's, I'm cooking a pretty good amount so I'm just gonna let it boil bring everything together all the flavors let the harmony cook and everything for about 20 to 30 ish minutes I'll be right back and then we'll do the taste test okay so it's finally ready I already poured it oh my god here it is here is the finished look I'm gonna give you guys a close look up right now I just chopped everything I'm gonna show you guys everything I put on top too because I put a lot of stuff in here and it just started raining outside so it's perfect the weather has approved of this dish today um i'm gonna put it down it's a lot i'm so excited to try and show you guys it is my favorite dish i know i think i said that um i'm using tostadas by the way if you guys don't know these are the ones i am using they're um la coronela and these are so so good i don't really like tostadas but for some reason these taste pretty good like they're like those tostadas you can't stop eating um I'm going to show you guys really quick my toppings. Here I chopped up some white onion. I have some rabano, which I think rabano is radish, right? But these are so, so good. I used to hate them when I was little, but they're good. Some fresh avocado and limon or lime. I like to use these, um, but you can always use the other ones. And some cabbage. This is, uh, yeah, right? Cabbage. The hard one, not the normal lettuce. This is the one that you eat with pozole. You could always eat regular, le le regular lettuce, but... I like that one. It's a little bit more crunchier, and this is it. Wow. Okay, so here it is. I have a little, I know, we eat it with tostada. Everybody here, we always eat pozole with tostadas. It's so good. Mm, 
oh god mm -mm. it's so perfect like the weather just made it even 10 times better You guys should definitely try this out. I know for some reason every time I watch um, people cook, they always say their food is so good. I'm like, you're pushing. I swear I'm not lying. It's so good. Like, definitely try it out. So, so good. Pozole verde. Mm. Honestly, just me. I prefer pozole verde than red pozole. I don't know why. Ever since I had this, I feel like the verde pozole has so much more flavor. Like, it has so much... Um, Freshness, but like in a warm soup because of all the vegetables you use and with the uh, pozole rojo It is a lot of chiles that they use to make the broth and it's just different, you know, it's well, obviously it's different, but It's just different. This one just I feel like it has so much more flavor It's so so good. I'm gonna go take some food for my family because they're all gonna eat and yeah, that is it guys Thank you guys. Thank you so much for watching for taking the time to watch this video Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up subscribe to my channel or turn on your notification bell to get noticed when I upload any more episodes on this series with let's cook but if you guys try this recipe out also comment down below let me know how it tastes let me know how it came out have any questions comment down below follow me on instagram at jocelynmancial underscore i always upload new recipes quick recipes on there and also makeup looks <laughs> if you guys are interested so that is it guys hope you guys enjoy this video again and i'll see you guys next time bye